fighting continues to be fierce around Bakhmut, a town in the Donbass region of Ukraine, and has turned into a hellish scene reminiscent of the First World War. Russian troops have repeatedly launched attacks on Bakhmut and its environs in the Donetsk region. But they were beaten back by what Kiev called a major setback. Hundreds of members of the Russian Wagner Group were reported killed in the fighting. In addition to Russian armed forces, mercenaries from the private paramilitary Wagner Group have been sent in their thousands to front lines around Bakhmut. Wagner leader Yevgeny Prigozhin has said Ukrainians have turned every house in Bakhmut into a fortress and that there were now 500 lines of defense. Russia has been using all its might to try to take Bakhmut, a battle considered critical for the country after it lost ground in Ukraine in recent months, being pushed out of Kherson in the south and the Kharkiv region in the northeast. Capturing Bakhmut is also important to further Russia's aim to control the whole of the Donbass region in eastern Ukraine. Ukraine's military estimated on Thursday that 800 Russian soldiers were killed in the past day, mostly in fighting in the eastern Donetsk region, while Western allies pledged supplies of armored battle vehicles but not the tanks Ukraine wants. Giving its regular morning roundup of the fighting, Ukraine's military said Russian forces were focused on an offensive in the Bakhmut sector and its attacks in the Avdiivka and Kupiansk sectors were unsuccessful. It said more than 800 Russian soldiers, one aircraft, a helicopter, and three tanks were destroyed over the past day. It also reported an unspecified number of civilian casualties as a result of Russian air, missile, and rocket attacks on the largely ruined, Ukrainian-held city of Bakhmut and two other cities in the Donetsk region, Konstantinivka and Kurakov. Bakhmut is an important target for the slow-moving Russian armed forces in Donetsk. Since Russia captured the industrial cities of Lysikansk and Severodonetsk in June and July, the UK Ministry of Defense said the private military company Wagner Group appears to be still heavily involved in the fighting in Bakhmut. Wagner, made up of veterans of the Russian armed forces, was founded in 2014 after Russia annexed Crimea and provides aid to pro-Russian separatists. Wagner's influence and presence has only got stronger, as Russia's invasion plans have stuttered, stalled, and suffered setbacks. In March 2022, Wagner was thought to have sent an initial force of just over 1,000. But, according to UK officials, that number has now grown to more than 20,000, around 10% of the total Russian forces on the ground. Wagner's inflated ranks are linked to its targeted recruitment of convicts in Russian prisons. UK officials say open source estimates suggest that the numbers of convicts in Russian prisons fell by over 23,000 in the two months leading up to November 2022, the period in which it was recruiting. A senior U.S. administration official on Wednesday gave a sobering assessment of fighting in the Donetsk region, especially around Bakhmut. The fighting is still quite hot. What we're seeing in Bakhmut we should expect to see elsewhere along the front that there will be continued fighting in the coming months, the official said. President Volodymyr Zelensky said Ukrainian troops outside Bakhmut were inflicting numerous losses on their adversaries and Russia was building up its forces in the region. Ukrainian Deputy Defense Minister Hanna Maliar, citing his ministry's main intelligence directorate, wrote on the Telegram app that significant losses for Russia meant it would likely have to announce another partial mobilization in the first quarter of the year. According to Yigeny Balitsky, the governor of the Russian-held Zaporizhia region, Ukrainian artillery killed five people and wounded 15 including four emergency workers, Russia's TASS news agency reported.
French President Emmanuel Macron told Zelensky France would send light AMX-10 RC armored combat vehicles to help the war effort, a French official said on Wednesday after the two leaders spoke by telephone. While the official said these would be the first Western armored vehicles delivered to Ukraine, Australia has given key of 90 of its Bushmaster vehicles, an armored unit hardened against landmines and other threats. Stand by! Go! Fire! 